Hey, this is Micah with Blue Roots Media Marketing. And today we're going to learn how to take this background right here and make it black and white. And so it's really simple, really easy. There's several techniques you can use. You can take your paintbrush, select saturation, um, you know, set the softness, hardness of the brush or whatever, and then just start painting. And as you can see, she's gone black and white. Pretty cool, your little signature, I don't know. What we're going to go ahead and do is, that can take a long time. And if you're like me, you don't have all the time in the world to sit there and paint all this. And plus, we're using a very expensive program here. And to be quite honest, if it's not going to be easy, then why am I going to buy, not, why would I buy this Photoshop, you know? And it should be a given that it should be easy. So there's a couple of techniques you can go ahead and use here with Photoshop. Um, the way that I'm going to approach this today is I'm going to use the um, magnetic lasso tool, which is up here in the corner. I already have it selected. You have three different types of lassos. I'm going to use the magnetic. Now, the the common perception here is that we're going to start at the edge and we'll work our way around. Well, actually this tool is designed if you start in the middle here and you work your way around. So I normally I would cut her in half, so to speak, and just go ahead and work my way around until I get her all the way selected. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start here we find the edge you can either go left or to the right I'm I'm a righty so I'm going to go to the right and when every time you select and you click down on a point it it basically selects a defining factor or the defining moment in that picture to where it knows that hey we're about to either go up on an edge are it just memorizes it so that it it just kind of keeps it all cohesive i guess I, there's probably a technical term for this but it, as you watch my videos you're gonna learn i'm not technical i'm not orthodox i just go ahead and i go with it um i'm an artist i guess is what you would say um and so i clicked up there we went down you go a little bit further and then you can click again because we're going down at a slope angle and then click again and then see we're at the knee so we got over the knee and click a little bit more you click here and then you keep going and you keep on going we're gonna have a little bit of mistake there I'll show you how to fix that um, and then you just kinda keep following it down this is if you ever done like masking and after effects our photo uh, premiere I think I've done a little masking in there maybe not can't remember um, it's kind of like that and so you follow it up you can see the she kind of goes down then click here now it's important to click here because what we're going to use is we're going to use our lasso tool not the magnetic one but the um, polygon or whatever the little thing called and you press alt and what she should do and it didn't do. There it went. Let's go ahead and go ahead and just follow it across. Obviously, I made a mistake right there. We'll go back and fix it and just kind of follow it. I didn't realize when I select this image that this area, the foot area, is pain in the butt, basically. So you just follow it around. keep going almost over make you click right there you click keep following it almost on here almost across and you can get as literal as you want with this and zoom in and make sure that every little every little spot here is right 
for the sake of time, I'm not. Um, I'm really a profession perf perfectionist when it comes to doing work for my clients and dip down in there and getting stuff done. So, but for the sake of a tutorial like this, you don't have time for me to spend 30 minutes being a perfectionist. So we're almost done. We're at the home stretch. Click here, double click. It will select the whole image. And so basically now we have her in the center. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click select inverse. That will select all the outside edges here. So all this, if I move this around, okay, don't yell at me. You can see we just got rid of a background. Um, go ahead and go back to the select. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click, click image, adjust, and desaturate. And what that just did was, if you can see, is it went ahead and turned up image black and white. Pretty quick, pretty simple there, right? So deselect, and if you can't tell, we got a little, we got a little bit of a trouble areas, and that's where this paintbrush comes into play. So just zoom in to those areas, like right here. And just kind of clean that up. Ooh, ooh, come on now. You know, you can get in there. Like I said, for the sake of time, I'm not going to be a perfectionist. And go ahead and play around with this. You know, right here. All right, another thing you can do is you can select your blur tool, and which is right here, blurring. And you can actually go ahead and like do colors and stuff like that, saturate that. And just, I have it at 50% strength. Um, you know, that's my settings right there. And then you can go ahead and you can kind of blur this out to where it was kind of, you know, kind of not cool. And kind of soften, soften the edges. Um, you can also use a refining tool up here click refining and you can kind of play around with it too um, and just kind of like soften these edges and stuff like that that's basically what we're going to go ahead and do today um, as you can see the, it, the image is black and white um, play around with it go a little bit more in detail with it and really make it pop and make your client happy um, Another thing you can do is exposure, and you can kind of play with the exposure. I know we already edited this image, but she might not exactly fit in the way that we would want. And so you can go ahead and you can play with the gamma. See, it's a little bit darker. Um, and kind of like really, really fit her in there. There's so many options. I, I really, when I um, teach classes and stuff like that, I really... Um, really suggest you just play around with stuff and really figure out your own way of doing things not just I mean I'm just a launching pad, pad for you basically so I'm gonna stop rambling here I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helped you um, don't forget to check out our website at www.blueroutsmediamarketing.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash blueroutsmm and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and tell me how you would have did this or any suggestions or any other videos that you would like to see me do.